Hello friends, in our last lesson we learned what is electric current. This lesson we shall learn an important concept that is potential difference. As we saw in the last lesson in a simple electrical circuit as soon as the battery was connected to a fan using copper wires the electric current flows through the circuit and the fan rotates and we saw how electrons moved across the conducting material from negative end of the battery through the wire to the positive end of the battery and we also learnt that conventionally we say current flows from positive end of the battery towards the negative end of the battery. So have you thought what makes the electric charge flow? The battery, right? So what did the battery do in this case? Remember our water pipe analogy. Water flows through the pipe from higher pressure side to the lower pressure side. The higher pressure can be because of the motor pushing the water or the overhead tank making the water flow due to the gravitational force. Same way in an electrical circuit there is a difference which we call potential difference along the conductor. This potential difference is created by the battery and the electric current flows from higher potential to lower potential. How potential difference was created? The chemical action within the battery generated a potential difference across the two terminals of the battery even if there is no wire connected to it and as soon as a wire is connected to it the potential difference sets the electron in motion as we saw in the earlier lesson. The electrons flow from the negative terminal of the battery through the wire to the positive terminal whereas the conventional current direction is from positive terminal of the battery through the wire to the negative terminal. We call electric current flowing from high potential to lower potential. And to maintain this flow of electrons in the circuit, the cell has to expend its energy. That is chemical energy is converted to electrical energy, which in turn causes the electrons to move. That is current flow to flow through the circuit. So how do we express potential difference? The electric potential difference between two points in an electrical circuit is the work done to move a unit charge from one point to the other. So potential difference V between two points is equal to work done W by charge Q. So its SI unit is volt. So one volt of potential difference between two points in a circuit means one joule of work is done to move a charge of one coulomb from one point to another. And how do we measure the potential difference? It is measured using an instrument called voltmeter. Voltmeter is connected in parallel across the two points between which we need to measure the potential difference. Nowadays a generic instrument called multimeter is also used that allow us to measure potential difference and other related parameters like electric current resistance etc. The batteries are used in remote control of TV, ACs and also in different toys. They typically come in different sizes and voltage specification. Common batteries like D, C, AA, AAA have 1.5 volt as the potential difference and their sizes var varies based on the capacity of the battery that is how long can they deliver the same potential difference or what is the life of the battery. For example, compared to a to an AA 1.5 volt battery, the D size battery has much longer life. That is, it has more chemical energy so it will last longer. The rectangular battery provides 9 volt of potential difference. So now let us compare it with the water flow example that we saw in the earlier lesson. The copper wire through which the electric current flows here is same as the water pipe through which the water flows. In that example, the electric current is the flow of charge through the conductor per second and the water flow rate was the flow of water through the pipe per second. The battery is generating the push in the electrons to make it flow through the wire and in water example there was a small motor that was putting pressure to push water through the pipe and the potential difference between the two points of electrical circuit carrying the current 
is similar to the pressure difference between the two points of the pipe. It's an analogy. We will see more examples in the next lesson. Bye-bye.